17th or the 18th. I don't know. But um, I'm vlogging today. Probably not much because I don't really have anything planned. But um, just so I can have a little bit of footage every day. Just in case I go into labor, I want to be able to remember what I did that day. And then I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow too to update you guys on the baby and how everything is doing because I have an appointment tomorrow in the morning. Um, so I figured I could probably just put today and tomorrow together to make a decent vlog. To make a decent vlog. So with that being said, right now I'm headed to drop Hendrix off at daycare. Then I'm going to go to Target, which I've gone no joke every day this week. It's Wednesday. I went Monday, which if you guys watch my video today, you would see that I got some things from there. And then yesterday I went because I realized that we didn't have any diaper rash cream for when Onyx comes. So I was like, holy crap, like he could be here any day now and we don't have anything to rub on his butt to make sure that he doesn't get a rash or just in case he does get a rash or whatever. So I went back yesterday and then I had also had bug spray on my list, but I just completely forgot. I don't know why, but I forgot to get it. So now I have to go back and get bug spray because literally every single morning I go down to like put Brian's lunch together and to make him coffee in the morning and to make myself coffee too. Um, I see a spider cricket and I do not mess with spider crickets. They're literally the scariest bug on earth. Like literally like a big jumping spider. They're so gross. So I need to go buy some spray so I can spray. I'm going to spray like all the corners of the house and stuff. And then I'm going to spray outside too. So hopefully that'll help get rid of them. Maybe we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop Hendrix off and then I will see you guys maybe at Target if I can remember to vlog because you guys know how it is. <laughs> doctor's appointment right now I know I said I would vlog yesterday but it was just not a good night okay I literally vlogged one little thing and it was just the vegan sandwiches my boyfriend and I had shoe in our apartment last night we had a leak and it just it it's still just not solved so it wasn't a good night I'm tired we were up late so anyways um, just left my appointment. She said that it feels like I'm starting to dilate, but it was hard for her to find my cervix, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. I was too tired to listen, really. All I know is that I'm not completely, you know, dilated, obviously. She was like, it feels like you're a little bit dilated, but it's hard to tell because it's all the way back there. And I literally thought that I was going to pee on her. It was so embarrassing because <laughs> I have to pee and usually they let you go pee before, you know. But the lady didn't ask me to go. So I was like, oh my god, all this pressure on my pelvis. Sis, you're going to get peed on. But luckily I can control my bladder. So anyways, I'm about to start looking up ways to make you dilate and stuff because... uh. I don't want to have a nine pound baby and if I go to 40 weeks I'm gonna have a ginormous baby because he's already big yeah so just a little update for you guys it's Friday night it's literally like 9 45 this vlog went nothing like I thought it would so I'm sorry that it's all over the place but it's just been a long like two days 
well, last night and today, so a long 24 hours, I guess. Long story short, the people, the maintenance came by, tried to fix it, I guess, I don't know. He must have busted something because the floor was soaking wet again and bathroom was a mess and it was just a lot. Um, so I guess I had to call in um, a contractor, plumbing contractor or whatever. So that guy came in and fixed it. Ended up finding a rag, like an old rag down in the toilet drain. So somebody, whoever previously lived here, even who remodeled or renovated this place, put a rag down the toilet and that's what was clogging it. That's what caused that clog. So he got that fixed. Everything is good now with the shower and the toilet. And we went to Target. We bought a whole bunch of like cleaning supplies, like more bleach and um, the disinfecting Fabuloso instead of just the regular one. Um, a mop, a bucket, cause that's easier to clean up water with than my little like Swiffer thing that I have. And yeah, then we got Chick-fil-A for dinner, even though we said we weren't gonna eat out, but it's hard to cook in a house that's all, you know, jacked up at the moment. So we got back, we ate, and then we cleaned the bathroom and the shower, and that took literally like three hours. So now we're here, and I figured I would end this vlog off by showing you guys um, the stuff I got from Amazon, and then the stuff that we actually got from the baby store I was telling you about, I think I mentioned it. So I'll start off with the Amazon stuff because it's just really quick. This is our last bit of diapers where we may buy um, a couple more, but for now, I think we're good. This leaves us with like 24, 25 maybe. So um, I bought from the brand We Greco. I had tried ordering literally twice from Alva Baby. Like I picked out individual like diapers and then I picked out like the bamboo charcoal um four layer um inserts and for whatever reason it just wasn't like letting my card go through and I don't know why because I have a lot of money so I was just like okay forget it I'll go on Amazon and just order one of their packs and then I was like well let me try out a different brand and I picked Wee Greco because I've heard about them before. And then I also got one other diaper um, just because I thought it was cute and it was recommended to me. Um, can't remember the brand. I don't think it's written on here like the other ones. But if I can remember, I'll link it down below. This is the first one. This is the individual one. This was seven bucks. It didn't come with an insert or anything. But we just thought the print was so cute with those deers on it. Or deer. I think the multiple multiple of deer is deer <laughs> but yeah super cute um we just need an insert for it and then the we greco ones it was six of them they came with this wet bag which i don't really need any more wet bags but it's cool you can never have too many wet bags i don't think where did the big ones go oh i hung them on the changing table never mind um <laughs> so yeah this bright blue um wet bag which is good for like traveling and stuff and then it came with six diapers with um one insert per diaper and it said it was a bamboo insert so that's nice um <clears throat> so here's the first one it's kind of like a safari jungle theme it has sloths on it palm trees leaves fruit birds and stuff like toucans and all that super cute and these came in a pack i believe they were like 30 bucks so definitely check Amazon too for um, diapers, reusable diapers, because they're, they're kind of honestly cheaper if you buy them in the pack, which I think I explained in my last video. Here's the second one. It's just a whole bunch of arrowheads. Super cute. Third one is kind of like a fall theme. The pack that I bought said that it was a fruit theme, but there's literally only like one with just fruit on it and the rest are just random but we like these because they're um just bright and colorful and fun so this one is more like a fall kind it has fox foxes on it mushrooms squirrels leaves this one just has mice on it 
but it's still cute. They all have like different patterns on them and stuff. And I like this pack because um, we do want one more kid at some point in our lives, <laughs> but um, we can reuse these and they're not like too boyish, you know? Like they could definitely be used for a girl if we were able to have a girl for our last one. This one has carrots on it. They're so cute. Looks like the like little leaves or whatever, the, whatever it's called for the carrots are um, like skirts on them. So cute. And then this last one is just a dragon fruit one. Super cute. Again, that was like 30 bucks. And then this one was $7 by itself, which is like a normal price. Um, again, the only downside, this doesn't come with inserts, but I have enough inserts so I can just use an insert, you know? And they both came, they came really quickly. They came in like two days, so. All right, and then these are the clothes that I have. Most of these are honestly winter clothes because like I said earlier, we needed winter clothes. For Onyx, we have a whole bunch of summer clothes, but we got like nothing warm. And right now is the best time to buy that stuff because it's all on clearance. It's all gonna be super cheap. So Brian actually picked out most of this stuff. Um, first we have this cute little sweater. It's like a Christmas sweater. Hopefully it'll fit him then. It's six to nine months, but he's really big already. So hopefully it'll fit him then. If not, I'll give it to somebody else, like one of my cousins, because they're all having boys. Um, it was $5.50 on clearance. Brian picked this one out too. Again, this is six months. This was $5.50 as well. Just like a little camo jacket. Next we have, did these pants go with something? Yeah, Where where's that shirt at? Oh. Um, what the hell? I don't see the shirt for this one. Oh, here we go. He picked out this outfit. This one is zero to three months, but he can wear this in the house right now. This one was six fifty on clearance. It's this Batman shirt. What does it say? Crime fighter. I didn't even realize that he got this. I would have been like, um, that's gonna be too small for the winter, but that's okay. He can wear this stuff inside. Then just little Batman sweatpants. Next, what does this go with? These are bright yellow. Oh my God, I have no idea. What does this go with? Why would he just buy bright pants? Okay, he didn't. Maybe this was, okay, yeah. This was $6.50 on clearance. This is zero to three months as well. <laughs> Brian is not really good with the sizing at all. It's actually like endearing because he doesn't, know like to look at the sizing and when he'll fit into these clothes and stuff but again he can wear this in the house because it'll be cold in the house um but this would be good pajamas um it just has broccoli avocado corn and peas on it that's the top and then the bottoms are like these bright yellow bottoms but again he can wear that inside when it's cold this is just a little bathrobe. This one is six to nine months. It's so cute. It's a little elephant. This was $5.50 for this robe. Next, I picked this one out just because, you know, Hendrix loves superheroes, so I thought it would be cool to have his little brother in one. This is six to nine months. It's a long sleeve. It's just um, the Justice League, I believe. It says Future Heroes Justice League, yeah. So, super cute for Onyx. This one is three to six months. This one is three months. Wait, what is this one? Three months, I don't know why it says three to six months, but these were both 350 each. They're just little baby overalls, which are like my favorite thing ever to put on babies. They just look so cute, especially if you just leave them out, <laughs> like with no shirt underneath or anything. And then they just have their little rolls hanging out and stuff. Ugh, I'm obsessed. We obviously have to wash these clothes because, I mean, they're secondhand, so you should just wash them just to be safe. Brian picked this one out too. It was $2.50. It's a newborn size, or is it three months? It says, yeah, three, but on here it says, okay, it says three to six months, but it was $2.50. It says Future All-Star. Looks like a little baseball shirt, which is funny. It was just 
random, not random, surprising to me that he picked that out because Brian doesn't really, he's not into sports or anything like that. So when he picked this out, I was surprised. But I still thought that it was really cute. It'll look really cute on him regardless. Um, I don't think these went to anything. I think he just got them pants. They're three to six months. These were $3.50 on clearance. Just some blue pants. That can go with the that top actually. Next, I picked this one out. It was literally the first thing I saw and I knew I had to have it. This is something for the summertime, but I couldn't pass it up. It was $7.50. It's this little outfit with these red shorts and then the shirt says, talk about handsome. And it's a taco and it's so cute and he's gonna look so cute in it. I had to get it, even though he didn't need any more summer clothes, but I couldn't resist myself. Then lastly for Onyx, I have a few things for Hendrix, even though he has enough clothes, but just cause I don't want him to feel left out. You know, I bought all these clothes for Onyx. I don't know, mom guilt. Um, I don't know how much these were, 750? They're six to nine months and they're polo, but they have little frogs on them. I thought that these were so cute. These little polo pants with the tiny frogs on them. So I snatched those up because I thought they were really cute. And then for Hendrix, I got this. It says just chillaxing with my pops. And this was $2.50. I bought this one because it's cute and it's comfy and it's good for the summertime. But also because um, if you don't know, we call my dad pops for like his grandpa name <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. So he goes by pops and you don't really see a lot of like kid stuff with like Pops or Gaga on it because those just aren't names that a lot of people use, I guess. But it's two Popsicles and it says just chillax with my Pops. So I thought that that was really cute and endearing because that's what we call my dad. And then lastly, I bought him this polo outfit. The shorts were $8.50 and then the top was $5.50. So it's this cute polo size 3t it's um gray i feel like it might look a little purple on camera but it's gray and then the little polo horse or whatever you want to call it is pink and then these polo shorts and the polo on the the jockey that's what they're called the jockey i think is blue i think but i thought that this would be such a cute little outfit so we got that um, that is it for that haul. Um, I did get some stuff from Shein in today, but the clothes I ordered are clothes that like I'm going to have for the summer, like when I'm not pregnant, obviously. So I'm not going to show those to you guys yet, but I will do a haul when I'm not pregnant anymore. Um, so I could try them on for you guys, but that is it. Oh, and I got a lot of kids clothes there too. And I want to do a video of Hendrix, like trying them on. Cause I think that that would be really cute. Um, just a small update, I've been having contractions literally all day and they were painful, really painful at one point. And then once I started cleaning and everything, they stopped. So I don't know what happened, but um, they were hurting really bad. But I told myself, I was like, I'm not going, like, I'm not gonna call my doctor unless like my water breaks or something. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna look stupid. Cause just this morning I was hardly even dilated, she said, so. I would hate to go all the way there and then them just send me home. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.